Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to continue talking about a mass. I created a previous video that we went into the utility, uh, the project, where to download it, how to install it, and so on and so forth. This time I want to take a few minutes just to uh, wrap it up and show you uh, one of the useful commands and ways that you can use this and uh, by no means this that I'm going to show you at this moment is complete meaning there are way more things you can do with a mass that go beyond a simple YouTube video um, and there are uses where I don't even get to utilize the uh, different options within a mass because it is not something that we do on a regular basis. As I mentioned before, we uh, use this heavily for intelligence and enumerations. But there are other things you can do with it. And if you, uh, again, want to know one of the many different ways to install it, you can check the previous video for that. So as you can see, I already have this installed and you um, simply uh, run it by typing the command and you have that in here. And there are certain things I want to mention for this video. Number one, uh, when you run enumeration, and let me come back here, as you can see, uh, a mass has uh, five different subcommands you can use and each subcommand is going to have different options. Uh, for instance, you have the uh, intelligence section of this, right? Which is to discover a target for enumeration. If you do um, a mass intel, that's going to open the category for the intelligence section. Something to keep in mind is that depending on the subcommands that you're using, the options are going to be different. Even when sometimes they look similar, they're going to behave a little bit different and some of the options are the same. So just keep that in mind. So let me come back here. And if I have, uh, oh, I'm here. So if you want to run um, for instance, oh, let's come back here. If you want to do uh, enum, which is for enumerations, you're going to see similar options as you saw in the Intel section. When you are running the enumeration subcommand, you have two options. You can either use it as passive or you can use it as active with passive is going to be quicker and there's going to be no dns resolutions or further investigation into the uh, queries that are being performed whereas in passive it's going to be a more detailed uh, type of enumeration and it's going to take a little bit longer so in this case, this is what I wanted to show you. If you want to run a mass enum uh, dash passive and the domain at nmap.org and you hit enter, uh, this uh, subcommand is going to take uh, seconds or it's going to be faster than the active. So I'm just going to pause this and then I'll tell you how long it took so you don't have to wait for this to execute. Okay, so the command is almost complete. Um, it just took a matter of seconds, uh, perhaps like 10, 15 seconds to execute. And as you could see, it is gathering or it gathered a lot of information from different sources for my specific domain, inmap.org. And it's just showing me the output here on my uh, computer. So as you could see, it discovered, it didn't tell me how many, but it, it added all these uh, subdomains to the local database, which is great. But when you're running this, and if you're doing a um, 
more detailed enumeration of, of a target, you would like to go deeper into the configuration and use the active enumeration option. Because when you do that, Amas is going to do DNS validation to validate the subdomains that are being presented. So as you could see here, we have a, a lot of subdomains that came up and it's great. Perhaps they were active at one point and we still have records out there, but there's no real resolution to them. So in that case, you would like to do an active, um, um, an active um, scan using a mass. And you can also even do the uh, dash brood to force even further investigation into the subdomain. So I just want to show you this as is just using the active. I'm going to execute this command. And I'm going to pause this video because it may take maybe two or three minutes to complete. And I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so the uh, command finished. It took just a little bit over a minute to complete. And it detected 86 domains or subdomains in this case, uh, as you can see here. Now, if, if you want, you can also do the uh, brood switch. Here, let me. Uh, and what this is going to attempt to do is going to attempt to do further investigations after the subdomains have been discovered, right? So I'm just going to do this to see if that makes any difference from the previous results that we have here. So I'm just going to hit enter and I'll pause the video until it's done. Okay, so the command executed successfully, and as you can see here, this time it shows that it discovered 56 names instead of 85 that it had discovered before. Uh, something that you have to be clear here is that this is not a bulletproof solution. It is not accurate 100% of the time because what this is doing is uh, researching and asking many different type of DNS servers and different uh, data sources. So it may be that it does not get results in time and it's not going to provide all the results. So again, this tool is for information gathering and enumeration, and it should be one of the many tools you use to compare. Right. As you could see, when I ran it before, it was 85 uh, domain, it is 85 names discovered this time in 56. But anyway, if you keep running that, perhaps the information is going to be different. And if we come here, there's another uh, very useful command. And again, this is something that you would like to uh, to keep in mind as you are doing enumeration. As you saw previously, the enumeration results could vary depending on the different uh, syntax that we use or depending on the replies that we get. But something that you can try on a regular basis is doing the tracking option. So if I come here, just to um, give you an idea, if you come and you do the track, the track option is going to track differences between enumerations. So in this case, I've been running different type of enumerations on Nmap and I have gotten different results. So you can either run those um, the scans one more time or you could do the tracking option that is going to compare the results from this command to the results that are already saved in the database. As you could see here, uh, every time that you run a, um, an enumeration and the command, it says discovers are being migrated into the local database. So there's a database maintaining all this information. So when you run the uh, track command, what's going to happen is that the results that 
this command is going to show you are going to be the results of these commands are going to compare against the local database and any differences are going to be um, are going to be shown to you and let me show you how so i'm just going to run the command i'm going to hit um, enter and i'll pause the video until this is done so the command completed successfully as you could see here it is going to show you the uh, comparison between the different scans the one that i just ran and the ones that i ran a couple of minutes before and it's going to show me what is uh, different or what has been removed from the different scans so if you are using this for your enumeration purposes within the organization that you are a part of this is super useful because you're going to be able to use this to keep track of all the changes that are happening in your public interfaces in your network uh, and it's going to be easier for you to understanding as you're going to have some knowledge of your network at the time but when you're running this on um, domains let's say if you're doing a um, an assessment uh, as a consultant for a uh, medium sized or a large company this is going to be a little bit more challenge because you don't know uh, much about the internal configuration and then you know it's going to be a little bit confusing so you would have to use a mass as one of the many other um, scanning and enumeration utilities to uh, map out the uh, the infrastructure of the organization so uh, this is how I use it again there are way more type of configurations that you can do on different type of uses that you can have with this command but I hope this information was useful to you as you start gathering intelligence and enumerations either on your um, company or organization or you're doing this for a uh, practice to become a pen tester or information security analyst again the only thing i ask to create these videos is just please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button if this was useful to you so you'll get notified of new videos in the future have a great day and i will talk to you later